Hey there, Ashley Wright here and welcome to another case study with manual bidding. So this is something that I've been getting into quite a lot recently now and like I say at the same time for myself, it's good to put these case studies together so I can see what is working, what isn't working, what needs tweaking and hopefully for you as well, you can obviously take it and put it into practice with your own products, your own business and your own store as well and start to get results from it because as we all know, manual bidding does work, it is very effective and at the same time, if you get it right, you can start to obviously uh, make a lot of sales from it. So what I'm gonna do is this basically gonna be a few different parts of videos. This is the first one I wanted to put together of just the start of the campaign. I'm gonna probably run this campaign, at, well, it's, as long as it's profitable, we'll run it as, as long as possible, but we're gonna obviously start to tweak and test different things and see how we kind of get on with it. So let's break it down in terms of what I've gone and done with this campaign so you've got a better understanding. So this campaign, it started um, yesterday, so the, the funny thing was it was kind of sandbox for the good, uh, I'd say probably about 18 hours. Uh, there was nothing running in terms of the ads were active, but there was nothing happening in terms of reach. So I'm guessing Facebook maybe was checking to see if everything was all kosher in terms of that. So the first thing I did, which um, was kind of brave in a sense, because like I said, I set this ad up in the day. It didn't go live until um, probably in the, in the night. Um, obviously UK time. So when I woke up in the morning, there was already results actually in the account, which is what you can see right here. So um, interestingly enough, so I'll just kind of break down and obviously we'll go into a bit more depth. So all of these hundred pound daily budget. So there's six campaigns all together and it is a lookalike audience of uh, our purchase on our purchase pixel. Um, it's about 1.8 million, I'd say around, which um, a lot of people say that's quite low, but at the same time, because it's in the UK, the numbers are always going to be lower than obviously if you are targeting in um, in the States, for example. But I've, I've realized that one, one million in UK just seems to work well. I'd like to go a little bit bigger, but this is actually 5% and then it gets to 1.8 million. So I thought I'd test with this and obviously we can obviously go and reach out further. But so far, so good in terms of what we've got. So the only thing different in terms of these is the max bid amount. So look like audience of purchase and the max bid has gone up by a pound each. So we've got 20 pounds here, 21 pounds, 22 pounds, 23, 24, 25, as you can see. So uh, the great thing was if maybe if you've not seen um, the first um, case study that I did, the problem I was getting was the, the ads were not getting enough reach straight from the off. But as you can see here, the reach on these ads are pretty much um, um, normal in terms of whether it was auto bidding or what. It, so it doesn't look no different teams in terms of auto bidding and, and the manual bidding seems to be working well. And the great thing so far, as you can probably see here, we've actually had some sales, which is great. So. It's quite, in terms of data wise, it's quite interesting to see what the set, where the sales have actually come from. So just kind of break it down. So far we've spent £184.41 and we've actually made £269.32. So, so far this campaign is positive, which is good. So obviously we just began this, it's really good. And at the same time we've made six sales and we've had 35 people actually add to cart so far, which is again, also really interesting. Um, normally the cost per purchase is roughly around 14 pounds so if you see here we've got two here this one is this one's killing at the moment which is the 22 pound one coming at seven pound 52 and um, per purchase this one here as well is a bit low as well which is 13 pound 47 uh, we've got this one here which is the higher bid believe it or not 25 pound is coming at 44 pound and this one here 33 pound 77 uh, this one here obviously has got 10 add to add to carts um, and obviously hopefully on the um, in the funnel, we can obviously pick them people up and get them to obviously buy. But in terms of this here, which I like to call stage one of the funnel, this is not bad results. Um, I've kept them running because, like I say, I want to kind of get some more data. It's not been running long enough for me to actually see anything because obviously this could drop down if we get a few more sales. Um, the 24 power one's got no sales yet or no add to cart, so that's probably going to be the first one's going to get shut down. The 21 pound has had add to carts but no purchases. So at the moment, the data is very interesting. The great thing that I'm, I'm happy about is the actual reach. Um, and I say the 22 pound, which is kind of the midpoint one in terms of max bidding, has had the least reach, but has had the most sales. So it's really interesting to see how Facebook favors certain, um, the budgets on what you actually but actually bidding on. And like I said, I've gone for max bid this time rather than average bid, because I just kind of, I saw a few people talk about max bid. I thought, let's try this at the same time as well. So like I say, the audiences are exactly the same. A lot of people say duplicating may affect the results, but at the same time, We've gone for it and we're kind of so far so good in terms of that. So this is like the first case study, um, part one of the case study, I should say, to kind of break down in terms of what is happening. Um, so you guys can obviously start getting yourself set up. Daily budget, like I say, £100. 
uh, which is not bad. And at the moment we are positive, we may go and create some more, um, maybe get this up to 10, 10 different ad sets, but at the same time, this is perfect. Nothing else is different. The actual ads are the same. The, like I say, the targeting is the same. The only difference is the max bid. I just wanna keep repeating that because a lot of people find that confusing, which is very strange. But like I say, du <coughs> duplication is totally fine and it's actually working. So, so far so good in terms of this campaign here. Um, so in terms of this, um, we're going to obviously try and just get as much from this as possible. So the next kind of step is I'm going to probably see how these run for the next few hours. Um, I say it is morning here in the UK. This one here is looking like the one will probably be shut down first. Um, and then after that, that one there. And then the £25, which again, which I say is quite interesting. Um, because I think I think Facebook did recommend £24 and like 8 pence for your max bid, which is about that one there. So these two here are not doing anything. Sorry. These two bottom ones here not doing anything which is disappointing but at the same time hey ho we'll see what happens with it so so yeah so we're going to come back obviously uh, we're going to split these videos into different sections and like i say i look forward to seeing you on the next video with some more results speak soon guys